Hi, I'm Curran. I'm Keshav. Um, and we made an iClicker uh, clone, kind of, for that you can use with your phone. So the, mo the motivation here is that people forget their iClicker, but they never forget their phone. Yeah. People always have their phone on them. The iClicker always gets left at, in their room, and they have to run back home or just not vote for anything. Okay. And so what did you do here? So here we built a web-enabled iClicker compatible essentially device. So this allows anybody to log in via the web and vote on the existing iClicker system just through their phone. So there's there's a web piece which which simulates the iClicker interface. Yeah. And then the the website is communicating back to the So the website sends information to a phone and then transmitted over Bluetooth to this microcontroller that then generates the encoded RF packets to actually send to the iClicker base itself. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So so there's an app that runs on the phone. Yeah. We can show that. That's right okay. And communicating by the Bluetooth, which is the big uh, TI module there. And then there's a then the, the PIC32 has a uh, a 900 megahertz uh, radio that acts like the eye clicker. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this. Yeah. So this is this is the interface you get when you pull up the the our web app, basically. So you type in some type of ID, um, and it brings up a typical eye clicker interface that everybody's used to. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can vote from here, and that gets sent. Yeah. So this is the other side of the app. So here we see that same vote being sent. So he pressed B, and it's being sent over Bluetooth to the RF device. And if the iClicker base was running, we should hopefully see the vote show up. Okay. So the cell phone is sending it to the Bluetooth, which will be in the same room, which is okay. So. So this is this is a cell phone to iClicker bridge. Yes. Okay. It would also be possible to replace the Bluetooth chip with a very cheap serial Wi-Fi chip, and that uh -huh. way it's completely self-contained, and then you don't even need the phone to interface right. with it. Yeah. So if we have this, we have the Bluetooth going, uh, and, and then we see that result come up there. Okay. We can change it to C, do that, and then if we were in a phase, we choose a different ID here, and we chose, say, B, it would pop up there. Uh huh. And then you can also use regular at the same time, and that also get registered. Yeah. And we can... Okay. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Cool. So you have complete interoperability. Yeah. So, from the teacher's point of view, nothing's new to them, and the students can take advantage of either free or a more useful alternative. So if they have the eye clicker, they can use it. If they, they have the phone, they, they can, can use it, and, and you... And, and you're controlling then access by by logon credentials. Okay. Very cool.